Hello and welcome to my review of the Death Cult Assassins for the Sisters of Battle or Adepta Sororitas. They're no longer in the Inquisition section of Games Workshop's website but they are in the Adepta Sororitas uh, tab and they're also in the brand new codex which just came out hence why I'm doing a review of them now. These set you back £12. They are metal miniatures uh, but if you were to buy them now from the store they're actually fine cast or you know resin there's different resin fine cast resin is different than forge world resin but this isn't a resin video all you need to do is just click on the the tab on the website or just type in death cult assassins and they are there right now for for 12 pounds these were painted about 20 years ago or so uh, i didn't really change the color of the handles but i think i did an okay job with the gold um yeah they need highlighting especially the black and the heels and things like that um they're all right they need some different blood effect too uh you know the, the wet blood i didn't put the wet blood on on these i don't think no i, I definitely didn't actually <laughs> uh, maybe i should go back and do that and um, maybe put a bit on the on the grass grass base flock bases can you remember those yeah Anyway, so this is one of the Death Cult Assassins, and this is the other one. Uh, there are only two. This is a battle uh, release was a prime opportunity for them to uh, model new Death Cult Assassins, new preachers and new missionaries. Unfortunately, they didn't do that. Maybe they will in the future. Maybe Forge World will step up the game and release some models uh, with the Adeptus Sororitas uh, kits. Um, I could definitely see Forge World releasing some kind of big dozer blade and different um, armor sections for the new Adeptus Sororitas. Maybe I'm predicting something that's going to happen. <laughs> I, but if it doesn't happen, then I'll be very surprised. Uh, if it's anything to build on the success. Uh, but, you know, these things take time. Forge World designs and things take time. But I'm sure that they could uh, bring something out, um, you know, in the future. So this is another one of the uh, Death Cult Assassins. Uh, pretty nice models. Uh, they're very light. Well, I mean, especially if you've got it in, in resin, you know, the fine cast. These metal ones are quite light as well. So I'll just go through some size comparisons. So I do actually have a couple of uh, Adeptus Sororitas models. Uh, here is the Canon S. Um, she's, she's quite thick, isn't she, compared to these uh, uh, Death Cult Assassins. She's a little bit taller than them. She's wearing the power armour. Uh, these assassins are just wearing like their body gloves or whatever you want to call them. Um, next to a, a Gemini, Superior. Uh, that again, they're a little bit thicker because of the power armor. Um, maybe next to uh, Celestine. Yeah, Celestine's a bit taller. So they're the only kind of size comparison I can, I can do with. Um, Adeptus Sororitas at the moment until I build all the other um, Battle Sisters. No doubt the size comparisons will increase in number um, as I go through and, and build them all. The other couple of size comparisons I can make are with Space Marines. So I've got a Primaris on the left and a standard Space Marine on the right. Uh, they are, I'd say, a little, just a little bit shorter than normal Space Marine. And compared to a Primaris, Primaris is a fair bit, fair bit bigger. Hopefully that helps you uh, discovering how small these ladies are. They are they are quite quite small, smaller than standard sisters of battle, uh, and you know thinner because they're just not wearing that that power armor. So what I'd like to do now is just go through their rules, which you'll find in the brand new uh, 2019 November. Well, yeah, it technically is November uh, edition of the of the codex. You'll find them in the elite uh, section of the book. Sisters of Battle is all about elites. Um, they've got one troop choice, 12 elite choices, uh, two fast attack, only four heavy support choices. Um, so yeah, they're swamped. You know, you've got lots of other things in there for elites. So they're, they're kind of swamped in terms of choices. There are many other things that you might want to take to boost your, your Sisters of Battle army. Anyway, Death Cult Assassins, they're a power points cost of a one, making them one of the cheapest units out there. Their points cost is 13 points per model. Uh, so this unit here would be 26 points uh, because the Death Cult power blades are free and they exa have exactly the same um, weapon profile as just normal power swords. Anyway, let me go through the uh, stat line. So their movement is seven inches, weapon skills three plus, ballistic skill four plus, 
strength is four, toughness three, one wound, four attacks, leadership seven, and a save of five plus. This unit contains two death court assassins. It can additionally contain up to two death court assassins or up to four death court assassins. Every model is equipped with death court power blades. So it's melee focused only, no ranged weaponry for these. Um, it's nice that you can get six of them. I would run with six. It's just a shame they don't have other, um, you know, different looking models because you're going to have, you know, three sets of twins really which yeah, isn't that bad but um still it would be nice to have uh you know new new kit for them so their weapon death cult power blades same profile as a power sword uh it's a strength of the user which in this case would be four it's good that they are strength four compared to a lot of the other sisters which only have strength three their ap is minus three and damage one their abilities they've got zealot which if you don't have the codex, uh, I'll explain. Uh, it essentially means when resolving an attack made with a melee weapon by a model in this unit, you can re-roll the hit roll if that model's unit made a charge move, was charged, or performed a heroic intervention. So if they were charged, or they charge, or the heroic intervention of course, then you can re-roll hit rolls. Um, they might need that, that's good, because their weapon skill is three plus. But there we go. Uncanny reflexes. Models in this unit have a 5 plus invulnerable save. Yes, it's not as good as the Crusaders Storm Shield of 3 plus, or it's not even as good as, uh, you know, the Rosariuses that sisters seem to hand out. Uh, but 5 plus invulnerable is still all right. It still gives you a bit of a chance. Um, the only downside, obviously, is they don't classify as characters and their toughness is only 3. So you fire a load of bolt guns at them and they're just going to whittle away the last ability is ecclesiarchy battle conclave if your army is battle forged this unit does not take up a slot in a detachment that includes any minister and priests that's pretty good um, so it's not going to take that detachment slot uh, if you've got uh, the priests minister and priests of course um, would be you know a preacher or a missionary uh, something like that. Keywords, Imperium, Adeptus Ministorum, Infantry, Ecclesiarch, Battle Conclave, and Death Cult Assassins. So there you go. That's pretty much my review of the Death Cult Assassins. Just a quick one today, uh, because you may not have seen them before. These models have been out for well over 20 years. I painted them like 20 years ago or so. Uh, they're a small little elite choice. They've got four attacks each, so that's eight on the charge. Eight power weapon attacks. Pretty good. Uh, I would you know put them in a rhino if you can or hide them you know you, you don't want to be taking any ranged weaponry against these two girls because they because they've only got toughness three and their save is five plus yes it's invulnerable but you know i wouldn't be charging into heavy bolt of fire um with with these two or even a, a squad of uh intercessors uh unless you can get that charge range. Their movement is seven inches, which does give them a bit of an edge. Uh, Arco Flagellants uh, do have movement of seven inches though. Um, however, they do have two wounds uh, each and they can ignore uh, wounds. However, their save is only seven plus. So survivability, Arco Flagellants have more wounds, but worse saves. Arco Flagellants are a little bit more expensive too, uh, if you take them as like a squad. Anyway, what do you guys think of the Death Cult Assassins? Uh, I think they're pretty fun models. I just like a plastic kit where you get six of them or even four of them, or, you know, if Forge World made, made a few, um, that would be uh, quite nice to add them to your army, uh, a bit of a themed army. If I was lacking in elite choices, which I'm pretty sure I won't be soon, then yeah, I'd, I'd bundle them into the, the sisters' uh, force. They look pretty cool. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.